Hi, my name is Kathy from Triple Step Studios. Welcome to check out some basic steps in 20s Charleston. And Ru is getting ready too. Yes, you are. So I think uh, we are all set. So this video is for complete beginners. So I will go really deeply into weight change and posture and pulse and the steps and the arms. So the posture is really open. So you have a good connection between your shoulder blades behind your back. Another component in 20 Shastan is the pulse. So pulse feeling in your body. So every time um, your heels are touching the ground, it vibrates into your body. And then that's where the pulse is coming to your body. So it's resonating from the floor. And now I have the heels so you can actually hear me bouncing. When I bounce, my heels are going up, up and down, but I keep the very proud posture. Now the tempo of your pulse is depending on the music and the pulse of the music, and the beat of the music. If you have a slower tempo, then you would pulse slower. If you have a faster Justin, then the pulse would be faster in your body. Uh, and when you dance very fast, the pulse has to be very small. So it's, it's not a bouncy, bouncy one, but it's very staccato-like. Uh, if you don't know what staccato is, check it out, it's a good word. It's a music term. So you could practice the pulsing by standing with both legs at the same time. Uh, engage your core so you can hold your balance. And then also standing with one leg and see if you can hold the balance. While you're doing the pulse exercises, uh, arms are supporting. They are like holding a little tray. That always helps the balance too. Or they can be here on the side if that helps. There's a lot of music uh, in YouTube. Uh, and I will link some YouTube links that you can, you can practice Charleston too. Okay, let's take a look at the steps. So now we have the posture, we have the pulse, um, and the, the up and down feeling in our body, and we will not lose that, that's our engine. Uh, we are going to take a look first at taps. So it's like pushing a button on the ground, so pushing and then lifting up. It's good to practice both directions with one leg while the other one is still pulsing. And then you can weight change to another leg and then practice the left leg. And already here you could add arms with. So we, when we dance just we have the walking arms. So basically when we are walking, if my right leg is taking a step, left uh, arm is going in front. So when you're practicing the tapping, you can add the arms. Now uh, let's talk about weight change. So every time we are standing with one leg and the other one is tapping, if we want to change to the other leg, then we have to change our weight. And knowing where your weight is very essential when we dance. If you dance 20 shots with your partner, knowing which leg you are standing, uh, you can signal to your partner what is going to happen. Now let's add some counts into the jazz. If we count on four, then the one would be the tap, two up, and then three, four would be a weight change. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, four. Tap, step, tap, step. Tap, step, tap, step. All right, let's take a look at some variations. So we could stay on one foot and tap. And every time you would like to change to another foot, then you do a weight change. This is a nice way of variation, giving a variation between your basic then the singles. Then we have uh, the famous twisty feet. The weight is mostly on the ball of the feet and the heels are going out and in. So this would be a really good first step to practice. Of course you could do that with 
standing with one leg, very challenging, but very good for balance. Now, so now when you put a twist feet into your chasta, every time your legs, both legs are on the ground, your heels will go inside. So in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. So it happens the, when the heels are going in, it happens with the tap step and the weight change step. So tap, weight change, tap, change weight. Here you can also stand with one leg. And vary your chest. up a little bit the chasta. So every time you are going to make the tap step in front with your right leg, you could do a variation. You could do a sweep, you could do a heel tap, you could do a heel tap this way, you could do a little swipe. You could do basically whatever you feel like with your right leg. So it's kind of a nice way of varying your chasta. Good. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video for beginners in Polish Chasten. I hope to see you in the dance floor soon. Um, Triple Step Studios will offer Chasten classes when we all get back to normal. In the meanwhile, tell your friends about the video and please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get a message every time we post videos. During this corona time we will post more videos than we normally do since we don't have any normal dance classes going on. I hope you have a great day.